Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the internet. This is Ren Dog coming at you from a cave deep beneath Silkworm Gang Island in this Let's Play Minecraft survival series. In the previous episode, we discovered for ourselves an abandoned mine shaft and started to harvest all of the sweet ass materials that we can use to build the Silkum Gang Fort. And in this episode, guys, we are going to try and get this precious cargo back to Silkum Gang Island without dying. So sit back and relax, cyber diggity dogs. This is gonna be an intense episode. Maybe relaxing isn't the correct word to use, but guys, I just wanna show you how much jazz I managed to harvest out of that mine shaft. You can see a butt ton of oak wood planks, fences, rails, iron, golden ore, and even a golden ingot, as some slime balls, and a bunch of coal, man. And we have got a lot of freaking sweet loots that we can use to build the fort. But dudes, I am so freaking nervous right now because I need to get this precious cargo back home without dying. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, to be honest. We are playing Minecraft hard mode, and we already have died twice in this freaking season already. And if we die with all of this cargo in our bellies, it's going to be bad times for us. I also uh, have failed once again to properly map the, the, the you know, the, the way back home using torches. I know in the previous episode I said I was going to try and put torches to the left hand side to help us get back home. But as you can see, I've just put torches freaking everywhere, man. And I don't know how to get home. And oh god this is crazy man hopefully we won't get a ton of spawns going on and we'll be able to find our way back home but i don't know i'm i'm not that hopeful man i am freaking nervous our iron armor our iron helmet is almost broken our iron armor is heavily damaged and oh this is this is going to be intense but hopefully all of the torches that we've laid around this place are going to stop any mob spawning and intercepting our asses and we're going to be able to get out of here i think this is actually how we found the abandoned mine shaft in the first place yes i think so i think this is actually the way to get back to that giant ravine yes this is yes this is that big big cave that we found just before we found the mine shaft so this is the right way but we have an infestation zombie butts Oh, creeper butts! Ow! Bread, get in my belly! And I think this, yes, th no, no, this isn't the way. No, this is not the way. But this giant ass cave is definitely correct. We just have to find the correct route out of here. I think it might be up here, actually. Come at me, dude. Come at me, bro! Eat my sword! I think it's actually up here, right? Yes, this is looking promising. This is looking promising. I think, I think we were keeping torches to the the left of us, on the way or on, to the right of us. I think on the way to the mine shaft, and then when we hit the mine shaft, we just lost it. Uh, <laughs> I lost focus because I was telling a story. I think, but here we can see the torches on the left hand side. So I think this is actually going to work out pretty well. Left hand side, left hand side, and through here. Yes, yes, this is looking promising. This is definitely a tunnel that we made. And, 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 a dead end. No, no, a dead end. That's not cool. That is not cool. That is a freaking dead end. What about down here? Through here? No, no. This is where we found diamonds. This is where we find, found diamonds, I believe. And if we go, I think we went this way, right? Yes, yes, we went this way. No, we didn't. Oh, we did, up there. Up and away! Oh god, no, this is the loop. This is the loop. It's like being in hell, man. This is exactly what being in hell would be like. A freaking eternal loop that goes round and round and you can't get out of a cave system in Minecraft. No! This, no, we've been down here already. This is not right. This is not freaking right, man. Where is the path out of here? That goes back to the abandoned mine shaft. This way, perhaps. Yes, this looks promising. Scale butt. What's up, dude? Sidestep. Eat it. Ow. No, no, no. No, no, no. Skeleton invasion. Skeleton invasion. Run. We don't have enough food for this encounter. Oh, God. Bread. This little corner seems like a freaking creeper spawning spot from hell. There's some lapis over here, actually. I think I'll pick this lapis up. 
Okay, we've got two Skelebuts to deal with around this corner. And, uh... My goodness, man. I'm just waiting for my health to recover. Okay, we've got a full stack of Lapis. We don't need any more Lapis, man. Okay, let's get the bow out. I think that's the only way to deal with these Skelebuts, man. Ooh, they ki one of them killed the other one. Sweet. Dude, thanks for helping me out. And this one damaged that one so much that it I just one-shotted it. Nice. <laughs> that works. I love it when skeletons work with me, man. Maybe one day Rendog and skeletons can live in harmony. <laughs> Although I doubt it. Ooh, the giant ravine! We found it! We found it! But it is infested. Alright, it is time for some long-range sniping, man. That skeleton butt needs to die. Eat. Eat nothing. What a... You are driving me crazy, dude. Stop it. Skeleton! Take an arrow to your butt. Bam! And to your bits. And to your freaking head. Nice. Headshot. Sub. Sub zombie. Bam. Come at me. Come at me, dude. Come at me. Oh, oh, no, no. Do not spawn more zombies. Leprechaun. Leprechaun. There's, there's a skeleton, man. Look at this dude. Sniping up there, man. Do you guys ever play Team Fortress 2? Oh, God, I hate campers. Camping snipers, man. That's what that dude was. Freaking camper, that's what you get. Right, where is the water vader? I think we actually have to go further further along the ravine to find the water vader. That's not the water vader. There, that's the water vader. I'm sure that... Yes, there are our torches up there. But this is a precarious water vader, man. Look at it. It's like a freaking waterfall. Alright, so let's go up to that level first, I think. Let's get into the stream. Swim! I don't know how I swim up a waterfall with iron armor on, but um, I'm, I'm going to ask no questions. Okay. Then into the next waterfall. And all the way up to the top. Swim! Swim faster! Swim faster, come on, please swim! <laughs> We're really vulnerable right now, man. A skeleton could literally start shooting us right now and make us fall down that giant ravine and die. Like that. Oh, no, no. That was me drowning. Get out. Okay, we're out. We're at the top of the ravine. Sweet. Sweet. Ravine, it's been real. But, uh, we'll smell you later. <laughs> okay, this is definitely how we came. Um, yes, this is looking good. Torches, torches everywhere. And it looks like we are almost out. Come on, baby. At least we're going up. That's all that matters, is that we go upwards. There's vineage over there. That could be... That means it's very close to the surface. So if we can't actually get out, we'll come back there and dig our way out, I think. But I think the exit is around this corner over here. Let's just make sure our hunger bars are full to the maximum. And... Come on, baby. Show us something that we that we recognize. Is this the... Yes, there. There is the hole that we hid in. Yes, we have found our way back to Silkum Gang Island. Sub creepers. Sub skeletons. I am not going to be dancing with you today. I'm getting out of here, man. I'm going to drop off my freaking precious cargo before I die. Yeah, and here is the really, really giant cave just underneath the Silkum Gang Island fort. This cave is actually so cool. Oh man, it is so awesome. And we can get out of here by going... How do we get out of here again? I think it's this way, right? I think... I think it's this way? Ow! It's definitely not that way. I think it's this way. Yes! Yes! This takes us up to the mountain cave. Out, out, out! Come on! Awesome! Silkworm Gang Island, what is up? Oh my goodness gracious, man. I am so freaking happy to be home right now. Let me tell you guys, that was freaking intense. And uh, I think what I want to do is harvest some of that sweet ass jazz over there. Just want to drop off some of this loot. I think I'll, I think I'll put the slime ball in here because I want to collect all of this wheat, man. Check out this wheat. It is going crazy. Apocalypse. Sweet. Okay, 
and let's just replant all of this wheat also and then we can head back up to the fort drop off our sweet ass loot and start thinking about exactly what we're going to be using all of this plankage for and what we're going to be using these fences for um my feeling is that i want to use the fences to create like a um a, a railing along the stairs that climb up that first giant tree um i think that that would be pretty sweet because then what we could do is make the vineage go on the outside of the fence and it'll kind of make like a curtain if you guys know what i'm saying all right there we go we have uh, our wheat is regrowing we've got 48 wheat which is going to make for us a butt ton of bread which is awesome and now we can take this little awesome ass cave that goes through the heart of this mountain and takes us all the way back to the fort well not all the way back but all the way to the other side of the mountain and then it's quite easy to climb up to the fort which is right over there we can see the foundations oh my goodness this is awesome we have got back alive that is that is actually our first successful season three mission without anything really bad going uh anything bad happening <laughs> so i'm happy about that end of butt no 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 dude i don't want to rumble with you man i didn't look at you i don't want to rumble with you i really don't i really don't i'm a pacifist man you and me i i don't i don't got problems with you man i really don't just leave me alone seriously just 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 let me be dude just let me be Ooh, doggy. <laughs> I think the enemy uh, left. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. That was awesome. Okay, we are home. Let's get some of this iron smelting. Let's fill our furnace with some coal. And then let's drop off all of this other loot, I think. And what I want to do, I think, is take a chest up to the top of... Um, the top of the fort and then stick all of the materials that we're allowed to use in that chest i want to sort of separate separate those materials from all of these other materials so that we you know we don't end up using something that we're not allowed to use you know i, I really want to try and make sure that we keep this project as legit as possible and we don't make any foolish errors and uh as this is a rendog series i i am prone to making many many foolish errors for example this jungle wood over here we just crafted that out of jungle wood logs that we harvested and that is a no-no we are not allowed to use this jungle wood for the construction of the fort we can only use it to make sticks and to make tools and stuff like that um, but these blocks that we've got over here yes we can use these to construct um, Silkum Gang Island Fort. And I just want to thank all of you guys who commented in the previous video about this question. I asked the question, should we be able to craft any items from the, the stuff that we pull out of that mine shaft? And namely, what I want to do is make stairs. Um, and the, the vast majority of you guys said, Rendog, I think you should be allowed to make stairs because literally, we can't make a fort just looking like this, man. We need a few more materials to try and make this fort as awesome as possible. And I think we should be allowed to make stairs out of oak wood planks. And I, I, I'm going to go with that, man. But we can only make stairs out of oak wood planks that we find. That is the rule. So I'm going to set up a chest up here. And this is the loot that we are allowed to use to make the fort. Um, and if we find another abandoned mine shaft at some point, and if we find any other materials, they all need to go in here, in this chest. And I think this bottom chest down here, we need to sort of ignore that chest and just use that chest down there to make tools, to make more pickaxes, to make more axes and whatnot. Um, and we'll use this chest to separate the items we're allowed to use in this build from the items that we're not allowed to use. So that sounds good to me and that's basically what you guys suggested and I think that's a freaking genius. So let's do it guys and it looks like the grass has been growing all the way up. It looks it looks like my torch technique actually works really really well. So well in fact that we've got a tree growing up in here also. So let's get the torch technique going up all the way here this way too. All the way along here up on top of the first room of Silicon Gang Island Fort and that is awesome sweet okay so um what i want to do guys we don't have a lot of time left in this episode but what i do want to try and do while we have a little bit of time is just experiment with these fences to see if we can do something awesome with them around uh the the stair the staircase over here that that goes all the way up to silicon gang island fort so what i thought we we'd do what i've been thinking right is to put the fences like so okay and then at the top of the fort to grow the vineage so that it grows on this side of the fence so while we're, while we're climbing the stairs we can't accidentally fall off and we will have a curtain of vineage coming down here like this and i think that will actually look really sweet 
um, not only from what not only while you're climbing up the spiral staircase but also if, if you're looking up at the Silkum Gang Island or at the Silkum Gang Fort from say down there because you'll see the 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 awesome vineage coming down and behind the vines you'll see the um, the fences and I think that'll look really really cool and really really natural so let's just do like a couple of um, levels over here and the freaking thunder and rain is coming this is how uh, the island welcomes us back from our adventure, man. With a freaking tropical thunderstorm. Thanks, island, your butthole. And all we have to do is, is this all the way up, right? But I'm just going to do a couple of levels for now. Just to have a look at what it looks like. Already, I'm really liking the look of it. I think that looks really, really cool. It just adds, like, an, another dimension to it. You know what I mean? Like, not just using logs and and um, and vines it just adds a little something extra i think um and i'm a fan get out of my life okay here we go let's just go up this far we're definitely going to use all of the fences to do this also so i'm i'm happy that we brought a ridiculous amount of fences like this okay that looks pretty cool you see, now this vineage over here is a problem, right? Because this is growing on the inside of the um, of the fences. It actually needs to grow around the outside. And it's going to help us climb up this spiral staircase much easier if we get rid of all the vines that are sort of messing with the pathing as you climb up the spiral staircase. But let's go over to this position over here and have a look at what it looks like. See, that looks really, really cool, man. I like that a lot. Zombie, what do you think, dude? What do you think of my fences? You like them? <laughs> that looks awesome. So now if you can imagine vineage coming down here on this side of the fences, I think that's actually going to look really awesome and really natural. Everything's made out of wood. And it just makes it look more like a like an official building of some kind, not just like a tree with some logs sticking on it. If you know what I mean. That looks awesome, guys. Oh, man. I am so freaking happy we got back, guys. And um, unfortunately, we're not going to have enough time in this episode to carry on working on the spiral staircase but i think that's probably for the better there is a giant ass thunderstorm coming in man and it is gonna freaking destroy our asses unless we get back into our little hole over here so i'll tell you what guys let's get into our hole and do some dogalog entries because it's been a while since i've got some of you guys onto the dogalog so i'm gonna add eight of you guys into the dogalog today and then we will say goodbye for this episode but guys let's get some of you guys onto the dogalog all right, Cyber Dogs, just got eight more of you into the doggo log. Let's have a look at who has been immortalized in the interbubs forever. Firstly, from dogcraft.net, the official Cyber Dog fad community, we've got Firebird, Danny, moo to you too, sir, <laughs> Johnny No Bueno, and Hawkeye0130. Welcome to the doggo log, my friends. And now, from YouTube subscribers, we've got Darren Zablan. Mr. Super Cloud Nan, Lucas Warner, and it's Tinkle Gaming. <laughs> Welcome to the Dogalog, all of my Cyberdog friends. You've been immortalized in the interbubs forever. Remember, guys, if you want to get your buttholes into this Dogalog and eventually add it to the Dogolith back at the mole hole, all you have to do is be a subscriber of the Ren Dog channel and leave me a constructive comment here and there on my videos. I choose you guys randomly from those comments. But if you ask to be put on the Dogalog, I simply ignore it. So don't don't even bother asking guys and guys you can also join dogcraft.net the official cyberdog fan community there is a for there's a thread on the forums there where you can add your youtube username and stand a chance to be added to the dogalog guys you've got to be 13 and over to join dogcraft.net and it is 100 free so go and check it out but dudes, we have arrived back at Silkum Gang Island with our sweet ass loots that is now in the canopies of the fort. And in the next episode, we can start working on the rooms of the fort and start crafting some sweet ass freaking roomage up in this place, man. And there is a hole over here that a zombie could fall through. So guys, I'm going to have to say goodbye before I lose my life at the hands of a zombie, which usually happens to me when I'm trying to say goodbye. So guys, this has been Rendog playing Minecraft Survival. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Episode. like if you have subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and we will see you in the next episode goodbye my friends